It's that glorious time of year where the garden is bursting and putting on lots of lovely new growth. My calendula is in full bloom and my comfrey is absolutely taking over. Two powerful healers I have in my herbal garden. Having my hands in the dirt always sees them ending up cracked and dry. Summer also sees Rex's rash flare up. He has an allergy to grass, which sees him rubbing himself in it, making it much worse. It's a vicious cycle. Like with any of my children, I avoid pharmaceutical drugs where possible. So I have been treating him naturally and keeping him inside, which helps. Calandula is planted all through my garden. I like to plant them as borders, but do beware that they drop a lot of seeds, which can take over your space if left unchecked. They are easy to weed out and I like to transplant them to other areas of the garden to bring a pop of colour. They flower here year round including winter, giving the bees some much needed forage. But they are also incredibly medicinal. Calandula helps wounds, promotes cell repair and is incredibly gentle. Comfrey too is planted all throughout my garden. I plant this along my fences to help keep out runner grass, to mine up minerals, to make liquid fertilizer, to chop and drop as mulch, and to activate compost piles. But it is also wonderful in the medicine cabinet. Traditionally, it is known as knit bone, but I've always used it for skin conditions. My oldest used to get incredibly bad nappy rashes when teething. I had tried all the pharmaceutical creams Fed up, I made my own using comfrey infused olive oil and beeswax, and it healed his rash within hours. It helps moisturize and soothe dry, irritated skin, helps cell growth and renewal. It is both antimicrobial and antibacterial, and it also reduces inflammation. Combining the two creates an absolute powerhouse salve. To make the oil infusion for the salve, I place the calendula flowers with their stem and comfrey leaves on a tray from my dehydrator. You could air dry them, but I'm wanting to make this in a hurry to repair our skin. I dry them on low for a few hours, extracting most of the moisture. If I don't do this, I could spoil the balm and cream that I'm going to make with the extracted oil. Once dried, I place the flowers and leaves into a glass jar and top up with olive oil, but you could use grapeseed oil. I place this on a cool, dark shelf for six weeks, but there is a way to speed this up. I'm going to place my jar of botanicals and oil in a slow cooker with a towel on the base and fill with warm water, leaving this on low for 4 to 24 hours and allow it to infuse. Once infused, carefully strain the botanicals out of the oil
and to each cup of oil add three to four tablespoons of beeswax. I'm using wax from our hive. It hasn't been cleaned of any residual honey, which I don't mind, as that will just add to the healing benefits to the salve that I'm going to make. I add it back to the warm water to melt any wax that didn't melt with the residual heat. There are two options from here. You can leave it as a balm, which is fantastic for nappy rash and really dry and cracked skin. Or we can turn it into a lighter cream, perfect for an all over body moisturizer. I, I pour some of it into jars to keep as a balm and the other half I will turn into a cream. To turn it into a cream, you need a tall jar and a stick mixer. I'm using a creamer attachment, but any blade will do. I turn it on the lowest setting and slowly pour in distilled water. I use a quarter cup of water per half cup of oil. You can use floral waters here instead, but it has a lovely herbal aroma that I do not want to interfere with. This is very similar to making a mayo where you emulsify oils and liquids together to make a cream. So you want to slowly add your water so it doesn't split the oils. Once it is all emulsified, continue blending it for a few more minutes, where you can then put it in a smaller jar. This one is best kept in the fridge. Being self-sufficient doesn't just mean growing your own food, it means growing some of your own medicine too. Creating skincare and soaps for my family is incredibly empowering. Not only is it frugal, it is 100% organic with no hidden chemicals. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching how I make my calendula and comfrey balm and hand cream. I would love to know if you guys are going to give it a go and make it in your own kitchen. Don't forget you can follow Living the Dream Permaculture on Instagram, Facebook and we have our own brand new website where I sell my natural skincare, permaculture plants, permaculture design, permaculture education and it's a place where I write about all things permaculture, homestead, and self-sufficient related. I've left all the links in the description box below so you can easily access those websites. Thank you so much for watching and let me know if you'd like more videos like this, if you like the new style of video that I'm creating, if you want more natural skincare recipes, more preserving recipes or more time in my garden. Thank you so much.